welcome to day 21 of the 25 apps in 25 day series, the daily series where I show off a brand new app every single day for 25 days in a row. If you missed any of the previous episodes, I've linked a playlist down below where you can catch up. But for today's episode, we've got a super fun personalization app that breathes life into your status bar by adding little characters to it. As always, just a reminder that this video and this series does not have any sponsors, but it is supported by those of you who download and use any of my apps, as well as those who purchase any of the products that I sell on my website, all of which will be linked below. And I do wanna quickly highlight the companion app to this series, My App Shelf, which is a library of hand-picked app recommendations from yours truly. We literally add brand new apps every single day, so it's definitely worth checking out. But with that being said, let's check out day 21's application. Okay, app 21 is called Yumo. And as I said at the start, this is an app that lets you customize your status bar by adding little characters to it. With the app open, we've got a few things that we've got to get set up first. So I'll tap continue, then tap here, then continue again. And then I'll tap this grant overlay permission option, then scroll all the way down to the bottom, tap here and tap to toggle it on. Then I'll come back twice, tap grant notification permission and tap on allow. And that's it for permissions. I can now come back and here we get a list of about 30 overlay elements. Some of them are animated and some of them are hanging. And so we can just tap on any of them. So let's tap this Tweedo one, for example, then hit play. And there we go, it'll get added to my status bar. Now it's obviously not quite in the right position. So I'll tap it, then tap the settings icon. And we can now play around with these various settings down here to tweak how it looks. So we'll first tap to activate the character, then I might scale mine up a little, and now we can move these sliders around to get it into the right position. And if you're finding it hard to get it exactly where you want, just enable this button controls toggle, and now you get very, very granular controls. I'm gonna go back to the sliders though, just make a few more tweaks to get it just about right. And now that I'm happy, I can come down and hit save settings, and that's it. I've now got this cute little bird hanging from my selfie camera and it'll actually respond to your phone's tilt and movement if you're holding your phone, which is pretty neat. Then we can add one of these animated characters. So let's add this cat one here and I'll also tap that and then tap to open its settings and I'll tap start test so that I can see what I'm doing. But I might then increase its size a bit, then move its vertical position a bit. And I'm essentially just playing around with these settings to find something that looks somewhat decent. Then down here, we even get the option to speed up or slow down the movement and animation speed, which I'm gonna do like so. But once I've made a few tweaks and I'm happy, I'll again tap save settings. And there you go, we've now got two little characters living on my status bar, which is actually a heck of a lot of fun. Now, if you tap this plus icon, you do get the option of creating your own custom characters if you upgrade to the premium version. So let's say you want a specific Pokemon character up there or a picture of your kids or really anything that you can think of, you can set that up and the app will remove the background for you as well if you like. And you can even then also select a custom rope. But as you can see, there are already a heap of pre-installed characters to choose from, all available for free, and the developers seem to be adding more and more all the time. Oh, and by the way, if you ever wanna quickly clear all the characters, just come into the app, tap the settings cog, and I'm just gonna tap don't show again to hide this annoying warning. But then we just need to come down and tap on stop all overlays, and there you go. Just keep in mind, you will need to reactivate the overlays one by one after that, but they will retain any of the changes that you made, so it's not too bad. But that's Yumo, and that is it for day 21. And let me know down in the comments, is this an app that you can see yourself using? As always, don't forget to check out my app shelf for even more great app recommendations. And don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on the next episode. But aside from that, that's it. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.